Liz, what do you want me to see? Oh, well, you gotta see it to believe it, TC. Come look, it's right around the corner. Julian to believe his sainted wife is a sinner. Oh my God, Eve, I've never seen so much paperwork. Damn it. Where did Julian go? Liz, you were right. I never would have believed it. I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Oh, TC, I mean, this is par for the course, honey. Aside from Sheridan's medical records, most of these papers are from the media, wanting information on Sheridan's condition and, and the kidnapping of her baby. Sweetheart, you have to be Sheridan's doctor and deal with the media, too? Oh, no, Sam was, Sam was taking the brunt of it, but he went home to see Grace. Why, Julian! Yes, I would expect to find you here. Now, why is it that every time T.C. and I are looking for E, you are somewhere close by? Yeah, Julian. What the hell are you doing here with my wife in this hospital? I'm not here to be near E, as Liz is implying. I came to check on my sister. You don't give a damn about anyone in your family, Julian. Oh, I agree with T.C., you know, I haven't been here in Harmony for very long, but long enough to know that you don't have a closeness with your sister. Mm. In fact, from what I hear, you care about your sister oh, about as much as my sister cares about me. Well, you've heard wrong, because I happen to love my sister a great deal. Although the specifics aren't comparable, much like you and your sister. Our father is to blame for the problems that we've had. But you see, the difference between you and me is that I love my sister enough to try to fix what's broken between us because she and I are family. So, do you see what brings you and Liz down to the hospital? We came here to see Sheridan. And Antonio. I see. And if, honey, if you have a moment, I want to talk to you. Oh? Honey, it's about our family. What's happened to Sheridan has made me realize that I need to work to get our family back together. I mean, Simone is off on her own, doing her own thing, feeling second best and second rate. You and I have had some problems together. And then there's Whitney. I mean, we are estranged from our own daughter because I am too selfish to realize that she loves Chad. Sweetheart, I want to talk to you. I want to figure out how we can get our family back together again. Oh, TC. TC, you wanted to reach out and bring Whitney back into the family is the best news I've heard all day. Sweetheart, I just want to tell you that I was wrong about making Whitney choose between our family and Chad. I was so desperate that I, I didn't want our little girl to leave the nest. I all but kicked her out without even realizing it. And Chad, I was so wrong about him. All he ever did was love Whitney. And I treated him like a whipping boy every time I saw her. Truth is... Chad loved Whitney. He loved Whitney enough to stand up to me every time I went after him. He defended Whitney, and he defended their love. And he committed his life to her. All I did was try to rip him apart every time I saw him. Most boys would have just, just ran away. Not Chad, he stood in there. And you, Eve, sweetheart, you were so right to let Whitney go off to L.A. You were. I mean, she would have left anyway. Now, sweetheart, I just have to figure out a way to fix this. Figure out a way to get our family back together, get, a, get that bond. Oh, honey, I know that Whitney will forgive you. Are you kidding? She worships the ground that you walk on. Nothing would make her happier than to be close to you again and for us to be a, a family again. I hope you're right. I know. Let's call Whitney now, tonight. Start mending fences. You know, um, <laughs> what about Sheridan? I mean, shouldn't you go check on her first? Sheridan is in stable condition for now. You know, honey, the thought of, of 
How Sheridan's baby was taken from her just makes me miss my daughter more. Let's, let's go and call her right now. As a matter of fact, I was even thinking of going out to Los Angeles and bringing Whitney home. Oh, sweetheart, I know that's why I love you so much. Oh, I love you too. Come on, let's okay. go call her. Honey, this area is safe to use a cell phone in. So let's call Whitney and tell her we want to get things right with all of us. What if she doesn't want to talk to me? Honey, she'll be thrilled to hear your voice. If that's the case, then what the hell am I going to say? Tell her the same thing that you told me. That you were wrong to make her choose between family and, and, and love. And that you were wrong to call Chad a punk from the streets. <sighs> all right. Here it goes. Okay. Ring. Damn, where's she going? I gotta move now before Chad sees me. Hello? Chad? Ch Chad, is that you? Coach Russell? Uh, yeah. Um, it's been a long time. Uh, maybe a little bit too long. Eve and I, we, we wanted to talk to Whitney and you about our situation. I hear you, Coach. Right now is not a good time. Why, Chad? What's wrong? Where's Whitney? Look, ain't, ain't nothing to get upset about, Coach. Uh, Whitney just dropped her jacket. Her phone was in it. And I was on my way to give it back to her when you called. Well, maybe it's best that you did answer the phone because Eve and I, we've been talking and, well, Chad, I just want to say that I was wrong for giving you and Whitney such a hard time about your relationship and what I should have done. But Coach, can we talk about this later? Like I said before, this isn't a good time. Chad, why are you putting me up? Where's my daughter? Where's Whitney? What was that? Chad, what was that? That'll teach you to mess with my man.